Welcome back. My not Ward County, not under a severe thunderstorm watch, but McLean, McHenry counties and points on south and eastward are under a watch. And we have lots of thunderstorms um, starting to pop up across south central and even portions of northern North Dakota. A couple of thunderstorm warnings, but closer to home. Um, this does include Harvey severe thunderstorm warning in effect for you. So let's zoom in tighter for Pierce County as well as Wells County. Harvey, the worst is to your east, but possible hail with this storm. These are pushing to the north northeast and the warning remains in effect until seven o'clock this evening. Also, Benson County is around the areas um, close to the east or rather west of Madoc and to the west of Heindall. Severe thunderstorm warnings until seven for this line of thunderstorms. Also, there's a cell just to the south of Drake, which is trying to intensify. It is not severe. Just got an update on the radar. Lost a little bit of this punch, but the storms kind of pulse up and down um, this time of evening with the instability, but storms non severe at this time to the south of Drake, but things really getting rough to the south of the capital city. Let's go back and just want to take a look at Harvey one more time where that severe thunderstorm warning is in effect. Hail detection. There is the potential for maybe half inch diameter hail with these storms in Wells County as they push northward towards Pierce County. Now we'll take you a look a little little farther to the south of uh, the capital city region. They are on the lookout for this line of storms that are pushing to the north out of South Dakota and into South Central North Dakota. Now, as far as where the threat for severe weather is, not just thunderstorms, but flash flooding potential as well anywhere in Central and East Central North Dakota. But it's highly dependent on where those storms develop and how quickly or slowly they move. So not everyone is going to get in on the excessive rain, but the potential is going to be there. Check it out. Bismarck, 93 degrees. Why not? We are at 78. What about the Magic City? Well, I know a lot of folks are going to be heading to the Hot Tots game. Things are looking pretty good for now, but we will have the potential for a few showers and storms later this evening. Check it out. There's, this is just the first wave of showers and storms. If we miss out on that in Minot, we'll have another potential for showers and a few storms later on tonight. Now, after midnight, the severe threat should gradually diminish, but for the moment, we will still be monitoring, we're just not Minot, but especially south and east of town for that severe weather threat. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit on the muggy side again. There is a slight chance of a few hit and miss showers or storms for tomorrow at 30%, but nothing like what we're seeing in sur county surrounding Ward County at this time. But a little bit of good news if you want some more, let's say, steady or substantial rain. That's going to be in effect Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with a 60 to 50% chance and cooler temperatures with highs in the 70s. So, Joe, we will continue monitoring this. Um, Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lawrence and I for updates throughout the remainder of the evening.